Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Bookshelf. So for this video, we're going to solve problems in our Engineering Mechanics Statics textbook about Chapter 2, Moment of Force About an Axis. So, I'm on, so I am going to solve problems 2.47 to 2.49. So just keep on watching this and let's start. Problem 2.47. So we need to find moment of three forces about x, y, and z axis. So this is our given figure. So here I will going to show you the full solution. So I we will going to solve it using scalar method and as well as a vector method. So what is the difference between scalar and vector? So when we say scalar, it has magnitude only, but in vector, uh, it has magnitude and direction. So meaning, since vector method has a direction, so if you try to solve it using vector method, so definitely it will give you the uh, correct uh, direction of our it will give you the direction of our moment. So here, as you can see, we have a negative direction for x-axis, positive for y, and positive for z-axis. I like a scalar method, so it will just based on your assumption. So here, for example, uh, I assume clockwise positive. So again, guys, this is just as an assumption so you can assume counterclockwise positive so here i assume clockwise positive so therefore this 75 kilonewton it is rotating in clockwise direction so it will give us a positive answer so since my answer is positive so my assumption is in clockwise direction but i don't know if it is negative or positive so how are we going to know if our direction a uh, is positive or negative using scalar method so here uh, this we here we are going to apply a uh, right hand rule so based on right hand rule so for us to determine our direction of our 3d if positive or negative about axis so we must use right hand rule so based on right hand rule to determine the direction and scalar method so when it is clockwise so therefore it is negative and when it is counterclockwise so therefore it is positive so here guys, I assume clockwise positive and it gives me a positive answer. So therefore, my assumption is in clockwise direction and since it is in clockwise, so based in right hand rule, it is in negative direction. So I hope that clears up. So here guys, so i just going to explain uh, this 2D. So I just uh, look at its front view. So for me to take moment at its x-axis. So looking at its front view, it is 0 0.5 meters and then uh, we can see 75 kilonewton and 160 kilonewton and 90 kilonewton is around here. So 75 kilonewton has moment since it has a perpendicular distance while 160 kilonewton has no moment since as you can see the distance is parallel. Uh, the distance uh, on moment at x is parallel to our first 160 kilo newton. So therefore, this will be zero. So let's try to solve this uh, about moment at y-axis. So I am going to look at its right side view. So looking at that, at its right side view, so we have 75 kilo newton, and then I can see 90 kilo newton and 160 kilo newton is. Uh, lying here okay so and the distance is 0 0.5 and there so here i will again assume assume clockwise positive so since i assume clockwise positive so therefore this 75 kilonewton is rotating in counterclockwise direction so therefore this will be negative so negative 75 multiplied by 0 0.5 and since it gives me a negative answer so therefore my assumption it should be in a uh, counterclockwise direction and since this is in counterclockwise direction so based on our right hand rule counterclockwise is a positive so therefore our moment at z axis is in positive direction so here guys uh, 75 kilonewton has moment since it has a perpendicular distance while 90 has no moment since as you can see 0 0.5 meter is parallel to our force 90 kilonewton so how about for its a z axis so i am going to look at its top view so looking at its top view 
we can see 160 kilonewton and then 90 kilonewton and 75 kilonewton is around here so we have 0 0.5 meter and 0 0.85 meter so again i will just assume clockwise positive so assuming clockwise positive it will be 90 multiplied by 0 0.85 this is a positive and then this will be negative since it is rotating in counterclockwise direction. So 160 multiplied by 0 0.5 minus 160 multiplied by 0 0.5. It will give me an answer of negative 3.5 kilonewton meter. And since my answer is in negative, so therefore my assumption it should be in counterclockwise direction. So therefore if this is counterclockwise, so our uh, direction should be in, uh, is in positive direction so it will be 3.5 kilonewton meter so uh, using right hand rule we can determine the direction of our uh, moment uh, using uh, if we if we use a scalar method so that is how uh, we we analyze uh, this moment of three forces so how about vector method so vector method so there is no problem when it comes to direction because it will give you uh, the direction based on its uh, process. So here, so from 0 to A, so this is our forces. So I have my coordinates. So from the origin, it is 0, 0, 0. And for A, we have 0 0.5 meter and then 0 0.85 meter for Y. And it is along our origin, so our Z will be zero so that is our r so 0 0.5 so it is a towards i o towards a so it will be a minus zero so 0 0.5 0, 0 0.5 minus 0 0 0.5 0 0.85 minus 0 0 0.85 and then this one is zero and then we have positive 90 kilonewton for i we have a positive 160 for j and we have negative 75 for Z, since 75 kilonewton is going towards to its negative direction so applying cross vector product so we have 0 0.85 multiply by negative 75 so this is already 0 so i and then minus so 0 0.5 multiply by negative 75 and this one is 0 for j and then plus then for k is 0 0.5 times 160 then minus 0 0.85 times 90 and it will give me the moment about its x y and z so i hope uh, so this is just clearly an explanation um i'm not going to uh, use calculator for it to solve so we am we are going to create lots of problem about here so i just explain about right hand rule so i hope that clears you up and yeah, this is about uh, this is our problem 2.47. Okay, so let's try to solve problem 2.48. So for problem 2.48, we must uh, det we must determine moment about axis A, B, C, D, C, G, C, H, and E, G. So guys, you must have the copy of the textbook so that you will know uh, the given figure for this one. So here I will. Uh, for us to solve uh, axis A, B, and C, D, so I am going to look at its front view. So looking at its front view, we have this axis A, B, C, D, G, H, and E, F, and our first particular newton and also the perpendicular distance of 0 0.9 meter. So for us to solve the moment about axis A, B, so I am going to take moment at A, B. So here I will assume counterclockwise positive since I can see that this, this one is rotating in counterclockwise direction. So, assuming counterclockwise positive, so it will be positive 40 multiplied by its perpendicular distance 0 0.9 meter. And then, we can have, since my answer is in positive, so therefore counter, it is in counterclockwise uh, direction and it is in positive direction. So, 40 multiply and since it is in counterclockwise direction, so based on right hand rule, so it is in positive direction direction so this will be 36 kilonewton meter so how about for our axis um cg so i am going to look at its uh, right side view for me to be able to to find the moment about axis cg so we can looking at its right side view we have cg 
and then AE, and then BH, and then BF, and here is our 40 kN, and we have a perpendicular distance of 0 0.8 meter. So same here, so I will assume counterclockwise positive, so it will be 40 multiplied by 0 0.8 meter, and then we can have the answer for our moment at CG, so it will be 40 multiplied by 0 0.8, so it will give me a 0 point, uh, I, 32 kilonewton meter in counterclockwise direction. And since this is in counterclockwise direction, it is my answer is in positive based on my assumption. And based on right hand rule, counterclockwise direction is in uh, positive direction. So how about uh, for our CH and EG? So I am going to look. So looking at its... Uh, not not the front view but it's on side side diagonally view something like that so we can see that this is our b this is our b and this is our e and this is our g and this is our ch and this is our af and this is our 40 kilo newton so we can now uh, solve for our CH and EG. But what can you notice about this one? So CH, so 40 kN force is on, already intersecting at our axis CH. So therefore, our CH will be 0. Our moment at CH is 0. So how about EG? So, as, so for our EG, as you can see, our line EG, axis EG, is parallel to our 40 kN. So, how can I say that this one is parallel? So, unlike here, for example, looking back here, so for our CG, so as you can see, this letter is combined. But this, since, so therefore, our uh, axis CG is perpendicular to our 40 kN force. But this one, as you can see, this is our line EG. So, it is parallel to our 40 kN kilonewton force. So therefore, our moment axis EG is equal to zero. So this is our problem 2.48. Okay, so let's now try to solve problem 2.49. So for problem 2.49, we need to find our moment about axis A, B, C, D, D, F, D, H, and B, D. So, again, I assume I have the copy of the textbook so that you will know the given figure for this one. So, based on the figure, so I have 400 Newton given forces. And I need to find our X component and Z component. So, for our X component, we have 400 cosine theta. And Z, and Z component, we have 400 sine theta. And for me to know the cosine theta, so based on the given distances, so I just simplify 7.5, so 7.5 divide 1.55, and also 9 meter, 9 divide 1.5 is 6, and it's hypotenuse, 5 squared, square root of 5 squared plus 6 squared is equal to square root of 61. So our cosine theta is adjacent side over hypotenuse, it, so it will be 6 adjacent hypotenuse is square root of 61. Our sine theta is opposite side, so our opposite side is 5 over hypotenuse square root of 61. So for me, for us to solve our moment axis A, B, and C, D, so I am going to look at its front view. So looking at its front view, we have axis C, D, axis A, B, axis G, H, and axis E, F. So what we can see is a force, which is our Z component. So as I can see, as we can see, this is rotating in counterclockwise direction. So I will just assume counterclockwise positive. So, assuming counterclockwise positive and this is in counterclockwise uh, rotation, so therefore this will be positive. So, 400 quantity 5 over square root of 61, our Z component multiplied by its perpendicular distance 4 meters. So, I already store at A our, for our Z component and I will just multiply it by 4. So, it will give me uh, 1024.30 newton meter in counterclockwise direction so counterclockwise direction based on right hand rule counterclockwise is a positive direction so it will give us 1024.30 newton meter so how about for our bf and dh so looking at our side view so what we can see about side view is our 
axis CG, axis EE, axis DH, and axis BF, and also our forces. Force 400 Newton, and this is our Z component, and this is our X component. So, since as we can see, our in axis BF, our force is already intersecting at our axis BF, so therefore, our moment at BF is equals to 0. So, how about our DH? So, what we can see is we have a perpendicular distances at our force of Z component, but at our X component, as you can see, this 9 meter is parallel to our Z component, so therefore, this one is our moment of this one is 0, and we can just use this Z component. So, our Z component multiplied by its perpendicular distance, 9 meters. So, I already stored uh, for our Z component, which is this one, and it is already stored at A, and I will just multiply it by perpendicular distance, 9 meters. So, it will give us answer of 2304.66 newton meter in clockwise direction. In clockwise direction, since this is rotating in clockwise direction, and I assume here clockwise positive. So, when I assume clockwise positive and, in, and it gives me a positive answer since this one is rotating in clockwise direction, so therefore it is in clockwise and this on right hand rule uh, clockwise is in negative. So, therefore our moment of DH is in negative direction of 2000 304.66 newton meter so how about our axis bd so for our axis bd so i am going to look at its top view so looking at its top view we have ac and eg fh and bd so i am just going to rotate it in counterclockwise direction so i will assume counterclockwise positive so it has a perpendicular distance of 4 meter and this force is actually this force which is our x component so, 400 quantity 6 over square root of 61 multiplied by 4 meters. So, we can now get for our moment at BD. So, I already store it at B for our X component multiplied by its perpendicular distance 4 meter. And the answer is 1229.15 in counterclockwise direction since I assume here counterclockwise positive and it gives me and this is rotating in counterclockwise, so it gives me a positive answer. So therefore, based on right hand rule, counterclockwise is in positive direction. So 1229.15 newton meter in positive direction. So this is our problem 2.49.